kick the feet a little bit, pause. Kick the feet a little bit, pause. Ooh, and that's usually when the So that, uh, this guy here, what are you, what are you, what's your name, son? <laughs> uh, frog catching is my name, just like that. <laughs> oh, I said, dang, Harvey Pullman's right here. Oh, dang. All right, so uh, this is the first this is the first derby y'all ever pissed before, and you've done pretty good. And I know that you had your buddy fishing. He was so embarrassed, because he, he normally catches a better fish than that, so he said, here, boy, take them small ones up there. I am going to sit here, and I'll put the boat away and all that. Here, you take these to the scale. Yeah, he don't like the spotlight at all. If anybody knows Harvey, he's very quiet. He's very shy, and he does not talk much at all. So he, he, t he tends to uh, sit here and do the dirty work. But, um, yeah, man, I don't know. This, this is a good tournament. Anytime you went up in the first place, you, it's a good tournament. It was tough. Yesterday was a little more fun. Today, with this win, it was, it was killer. And, uh, you had to adjust. Um, I think we maybe had four bites today. And uh, it was real slow. I mean, I throw it for all painstakingly slow with some of this stuff. And just kind of working it in the right areas with that right tie. And we got fortunate. We got the right bite. So. What was your key bait here, Harm? Oh, you know, Bobby, I've been watching your videos, man. So, you know, I had to have me a couple of those snag proof frogs, but I had that old school popping frog, baby. I was the one. I, I, you know, my man, Larry Cooper, I, we went out free fishing a couple days ago. I said, Coop, you can't find those baits anywhere, man. Can you please let me borrow that? And he said, if you lose it, it's 100 bucks. But, you know, I'm going to give you a lot of credit, Bobby. I, I, I sit on um, Instagram, watch your videos. I see how you do that flip. I'm in my backyard trying to work on my flip technique so I can flip over the tools. But, man, it was, you know, just, just the sack. But, you know, like I said, I got Jamon as a, a team partner, man. This guy, he can really catch him. I just kind of sat back because last night I had a long night. My wife wanted to, um, we had to go to a, a retirement party. And they never wanted to leave, you know, 65 and over. I was like, man, when is this party over, man? They were like, man, we, we partying all night. So like Randy was saying, we pulled up a little late. And, uh, you know, but we kind of do that anyway. But, um, no, man, this is an awesome tournament, man. Awesome frog. And um, we had a great time, man. And um, thanks, everybody, for showing up. And uh, thanks, Randy. Thank you, Bobby, for being here. And uh, it was cool, man. Well, let me ask you real quick. There's, uh, we were talking about, you guys take that frog fish and do a different level. I know you do. And so I want to know, did you guys sit, or I should say, did y'all, did y'all sit on a spot and wait for things to get right? Or were you hustling around, hitting this and hitting that, kind of just, let me just run around this casino and just put a quarter in this machine, a quarter in that machine, a quarter in that machine. Or did you say, you know what, I, I, that's Big Bertha over there, I'm going to sit on this machine, I'm going to keep feeding this one. Man, you know, Bob, that's exactly what happened. You know, the tide was all bad this morning for us, and um, yeah. You know, we were. It's hard to just sit because you know we, you know, we know the Delta pretty good, but it's hard to just sit and wait. And um, but we knew in this area it was a lot of big fish swimming around, and it was like, Jamal, man, this is our best water. Let's stay over here and let's wait. And we didn't get bit. Well, first thing in the morning, we pulled across on the other side of the track. Jamal's throwing a buzz frog. We had a big one show herself, but she went eat. And uh, actually. You know, I was like, okay, well, maybe, but then they went eat, and so then we ran to our best water, and we sat there all day until, like, 12.30, and my man, like I said, Jamal was in the back just twitching that frog real slow, man, and he did what he do, and uh, I get to, you know, act like I know what I'm doing, yeah. but my man Jamal definitely knows what he's doing. Yeah, so he turned around on that 95 inside and hit it out there in the parking lot. <laughs> Yeah, he tried to go right, short to right field. Right? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, yesterday, man, we uh, just to, to the to the tie point, we uh, we had like a little bit of an incoming late in the day yesterday, and uh, I don't know, you you, I can sit here and preach fishing all day long and tell you how they, how we caught them and how they should have been caught and all this other stuff, but you know, every time you hit the water, especially this delta, you never know. I mean, there's no guarantee, right? True. So you really just kind of hope that your instinct take o takes over. And then yesterday, that was kind of the case. We, uh, like you said, we were in some some pretty good areas and uh, threw the frog around a, a bit. And we had some we had some big ones roll on it. 
And, uh, you know, we both looked at each other and said, it's not right yet. So we didn't want to continue just keep throwing stuff over the top of their heads until they were ready. And uh, we got that out one time yesterday for a little bit, and then we got right. That was, it was one, two, three, and it was over. Same thing with this morning, a couple of fish rolled, and they just, you know, I tell people all the time, they ask us about fish and fishing frogs. They don't really miss them. They don't really miss them. If they want it, they're gonna eat it. You cannot get away from, I had a fish in practice, like literally follow me to the boat at one point trying to eat a frog. So when they want it, they'll get it. Um, it's just up to you to know what time, or at least be there at the time that they want to eat it. I know you preach that a lot, and that's the case, man. And especially you got a bunch of frogs, you guys throwing over, you know, you guys see the frog tracks all over the place. You're like, Jesus Christ, is, is this fish really going to come up and eat this frog? But, you know, when that current hits right on some of those mats or some of those tube pockets and everything, and it comes right right to them, they have they literally like clockwork, man. They come up and they just they destroy it when they want it. You know, before I, before I left here, um, the, as we know, the Delta is just a shell of what it used to be. And it just doesn't have the population that it used to have. And it's just so unpredictable. It's a weak eradication and all that kind of stuff. And it's so hard to try and to try. I'm going to fish that tournament on Saturday. So I'm going to fish four or five days before this tournament. And it's going to determine whether I fish that tournament on Saturday or Sunday. So I'm going to go try and fish, catch fish on Saturday because of what they did on Tuesday. <coughs> what? So this is really all about like the. If, I hope everybody's listening. The top three guys pretty much had a real good idea, and that's frosted, and that's swinging for the fence, and that's trying to hit it in the parking lot, right? You either gonna hit it in the parking lot, or you're gonna end up on your butt in the batter's box. And I, that's how we fit. You don't ever get to hit one in the parking lot unless you try it, and you're gonna end up in the batter's box on your butt. Right? Hey, you gotta swing for it, man. When they hang that slide, you gotta. That's what happens, man. And um. You know, that's how we've been fishing our whole time. We've been fishing the Delta. We, you know, man, we fish to win. And then, you know, like we take a lot of L's, but hey, when it's our time, we shine and, and, and um, things work out for us. But like Bob said, we swing for the fences. Absolutely. And that's, and that, the thing is with that, it's a discipline thing. It's an absolute discipline thing. And it's the thing that, guys, you know, everybody wants to know what color and this and that. That's kind of sort of important, but the whole thing is discipline up here, staying with it, executing the bites, fishing for the moment, not what happened on Tuesday, not what happened on Wednesday, not what happened last year. Three years ago, remember that time three years ago? I mean, some of that stuff can come into play, but it's figure out what's going on today, make some calculated guesses, hopefully they're right, get the opportunities, and execute, right? Yes. You couldn't have said it any better. I like. Like we say, man, every time we hit the water, it's something different. They might have sprayed your weeds on Tuesday while you was at work. By the time you show up on Saturday, it looks like a desert. You really have to fish the moment out here right now. There is no, I literally was telling them yesterday or the day before, there is no, hey, you know what? And so, you know, in the summertime, we used to go hit Mildred and hit those blow throughs and throw frogs over that. You want to go try that? <laughs> shit don't even exist anymore. It's like, you know, you, you really have to go around and fish like, like today is your practice day. Like, let's go fish, find some fish, you know, oh, excuse me, find some good stuff, and then hopefully, like, you catch the tide and everything right, but that, that fishing from memory or fishing stuff in practice, bro, that almost never, ever works out. You know, if you get a good stretch that's, that's there and they're, they're eating and they haven't sprayed it and the tide is right, man, for sure, but, you know, that's... That's the, the rare occasion, but you really have to fish the moment out here. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, great job. Great job.